The Austin police chief is getting more heat for firing one of his officers today. Two of the unions representing Austin police officers are criticizing Chief Art Acevedo's decision-making skills. They call it a pattern after the city manager docked the chief's pay for comments he made to cadets in March. KXAN's Aaron Cargile, you've been talking to both sides of those on today's case. I have, and we've got calls and emails into uh, the city this afternoon. Tonight, they have yet to confirm the firing, but a public affairs official with CLEAT, the Combined Law Enforcement Association of Texas, Texas tells me they had a lawyer sitting in the room this afternoon when the chief made the call to fire Austin police officer Mark Manley. This is his mugshot from an arrest by Cedar Park Police this month. He is facing a misdemeanor assault charge. This is the driveway where Cedar Park Police say Austin police officer Mark Manley crossed the line with a neighbor. It happened six months ago on Halloween night while he was off duty. According to court records, Manley got into an argument with a woman who lives here. She told him to leave or she was going to spray him with a garden hose. Police say he didn't leave, so she sprayed him. That's when Officer Manley tackled her to the ground, causing pain and bruising on her arms and legs. You know, there were things that happened that he regrets. Uh, but as far as being uh, criminal, we absolutely disagree with that. The Austin Police Association president talked to Manley and those he answers to at APD. He, it was very clear going into the disciplinary review hearing that uh, the chain of command supported Officer Manley all the way from uh, his sergeant uh, to his commander and uh, the chief still made the decision to fire the officer. Immediately after the hearing, the executive director of CLEAT, who will be helping Manley fight to get his job back, put out a statement saying, this is yet another example of Chief Acevedo making a rush to judgment decision against an officer who had every right to defend himself. Do you think it is a pattern of, of bad calls by the chief? I think we're getting to that point. Um, you know, sometimes I agree with the chief, sometimes I don't. But today, uh, I feel like he used bad judgment. And tonight I spoke with the husband of the woman who was tackled. He was not aware of the firing, but did not want to comment other than to say it is a touchy situation. I also spoke with the Williamson County attorney over the phone. I asked why did a police wait almost six months to charge an arrest officer mainly. He said time doesn't matter when it comes down to the evidence they have. And uh, Shannon and Robert, he tells me that his office fully vetted this case and uh, they will try to prove a crime occurred. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. And we look looked over APD's history of firing officers since the beginning of last year. According to the police monitor, six officers were fired in 2015. And so far this year, four officers, including Mark Manley, have lost their jobs. The disciplinary memos point to a range of reasons from not allowing APD's, not following rather APD's policy on the use of deadly force to continuously disobeying orders, even to going on an illegal hunting trip.